Hi everybody. I wanted to follow my last video up on the Baby Lock Acclaim Serger by giving you a step-by-step uh, -step threading tutorial. Uh, all the videos that I found when I first got my Acclaim Serger on Mother's Day, so just uh, about a week ago, didn't it, they they just very quickly went through the process and they didn't they focused on the uh, two lower loopers and not on the upper ones so I wanted to show you how to actually fully thread the baby lock acclaim machine yes it is as easy as they say uh, there's just the one part that they leave out which is um, threading the two needles and going up and over here uh, it, it's, it can be a little bit confusing in terms of uh, what it says in the manual. Okay, so I, I made this mistake a couple of times, so hopefully this will save you from making the same mistake. So when you open up your machine to start to thread, this is the very first thing you want to do is this lever right here that goes from surging to threading. <laughs> Just make sure that that's in the down position. I forgot that a couple of times already. And then your um, wheel over here, you want to wind it towards you until it locks. Do you hear that? So I'm going to do this close up so that you can see. You want to make sure that your lever here is on threading and you want to make sure your wheel here, you twist it towards yourself until it locks, until you get that locking sound. So you always have to make sure you do those things. If you don't, when you go to thread your needles here, this piece won't come down properly. So you need to always make sure that you do those two things. Okay, so I'm going to go through the entire threading process with you guys so that you can see exactly how all four threads are threaded all the way through, not just the little part that they show you uh, on the videos that I found on YouTube, but the whole nine yards. So uh, this project that I'm about to sew, I'm going to be using some a different color thread. So literally all you have to do right now, it's 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 threaded for three threads so you just need to snip off your threads and then as with any serger you want to make sure let me turn it on here power button right over here um, you want to make sure that you are taking the thread out uh, from here from the bottom and not from the top you don't want to be pulling your threads out from the top why it creates a lot of lint in your machine and your these machines are expensive and you already have to be careful maintaining them having them maintained so uh, why not be as careful as possible so you just want to until the whole thing comes out until the, it's all out from the bottom you don't want to pull from the top so now we get rid of that and uh, the first thing we're going to do is change the cones on the top so pretty easy. I'm just gonna lift these out literally and replace them with my pink cones. Okay, so to begin, we're gonna start with the uh, cone that's all the way on the right side. And we're gonna take the thread up to the little holder here at the top and put it through there. And then the thread is gonna come all the way down and it's going to go into this little channel right here and lock in there. And then it will come forward and lock into, you're just going to lay it over over this area and um, lock it into place. I'll do it right now so you can see how that works. So you just have to lay it in there. Nothing complicated there, just lay it through and then when you go through this first channel, make sure that you hear the click. You're going to lay it down. And there you go. You have it through that first part. Now you want to make sure that you're putting it through that little hook. I'm going to show you a close-up of that. So that first little hook on the right. Now, of course, like I said, you want to make sure that you have it... Uh, on threading and turn the wheel all the way towards you until it clicks and now we're ready to use the air threader so you want to make sure your end is pretty clean if you need to you can snip off the end 
If you just lay it on top like this and then you press the button, it may or may not suck it up. So uh, what I recommend is um, make sure that you have a nice little sharp point at the end there and then actually push the tip of the thread a little bit into the hole, like push it in there a little and then press your button and it sucks it up. And now let's see, it came out the other end. See it right there? That is beautiful. So easy. Then all you need to do, it literally is pull that piece of thread out. Um, and I, as you'll, you'll, you see here, I'm going to drape it across the front once I get hold of it with my fingers. And then I get my scissors and I snip it off just above the door here. I just snip it off and you're done. Literally, you just let it hang in there. You do not have to do anything else. Just let it hang out there while we go on to threading the upper looper. So the upper looper is the second cone from the right. I'm doing the same thing right now off camera. You just can't see it on the top. Uh, going through the top portions and now I've come down across and I'm going into that second little hook area. And I'm going to do very similar. Now, one thing I didn't show you when I was doing the lower looper is make sure you pull out enough thread before you go to insert your thread into the little uh, sucking up hole. <laughs> uh, because if you don't, uh, it it won't you won't have enough thread to go all, thread all the way through the machine and pop out like it is here. So there it is, popped out nicely, perfect upper looper is done. We just want to make sure that we pull that thread uh, to the back there of our presser foot. Now we go on to the right needle, which is the third cone from the right. Again, same deal, up through the antenna-like portion. <laughs> Clip it through the channel, lay it down the front, and then you've got some little more little hooks here in the front. I'll show you a close up in a second. But you're going to um, put it through the two, there are two little hooks. And then, uh, this is where I suggest you watch this video instead of look at the manual. You literally want to wind it up and over that white piece because. As you see when I'm taking it off here, the manual shows an inside picture and it doesn't look like the inside of this machine. So I recommend just keeping that white plastic piece on there and um, going up and over. So now I'm gonna show you the close up of that. So here's the pieces, we're going through two hooks and then around that little plastic catch up and over and we're, and, and we're in good shape here. So let me do it here for you so you can see it close up. You're going through that first little hook, then the second little hook, and then you're gonna go around the plastic piece, up and around the plastic piece, and down. Now, here's where we're gonna use uh, some more handy dandy tools here. So we're gonna push down uh, the self-threading arm. Um, and we are going to take that thread that we have for the right needle and we're going to clip it around the little metal arm clip that you see right there. And you could uh, just thread your needle normally if you wanted to, the right needle. But uh, if you want to use the, the little helper that you have here, what you want to do is I, I typically clip off the end so I have a nice clean point and hold the tip of that thread in front of the hole that you will see, the guide uh, that you have in front of the needle that you've pulled down. That is your guide. And you, I hold it there with my right hand and then with my left hand, I press the button, the push to thread needles button. Uh, and it sucks that thread right through the hole for me and then when I press the little lever up uh, it the, the thread sticks to it and I can just pull it off and I am done with the right needle all I have to do is uh, put it behind my presser foot like you normally would for any sewing machine and the right needle is all threaded 
Now we'll move on to the last one, which is the left needle. That last cone, uh, or the first cone from the left side. And we're gonna do that same thing up and over the antenna piece, clipping it through the channel, coming down through the front of the channel. And then we've got those little clip pieces. And I'm just moving the camera here so you can see exactly where we're going here. Notice that the right needle is threaded. We're not gonna mess with any of those threads. All we're doing is very gently um, putting our thread through that little hook. And then that second hook, so also there's two metal hooks uh, just like we did with the right needle and then up and over the white plastic piece and once again we're ready to use our little air threader helper and this time you'll be able to see me press the uh, push to thread needle button so with my right hand I'm holding the thread in front of the guide the little hole with my left hand I push the button it sucks it up I push the little helper back up into the machine I'm making sure that uh, the two threads, the right and left threads, are where they're supposed to be behind the little metal clip. And then I'm just bringing that thread behind my presser foot uh, as normal. And guess what? The left needle is threaded. We're good to go here. Uh, so of course, before we start sewing, we just want to make sure that we are pushing that lever back up uh, to surging. And we are ready to go. Did it work? Yes, it works perfectly. I haven't done this a single time that it hasn't worked. The only thing that's happened to me is that I've forgotten to put the lever down to threading and pull the wheel towards me and um, that stopped me. But here I just wanted to show you how what it looks like inside. You know how we left that one piece hanging? It, it, it found its way when we uh, went to press the, the, the foot pedal Everything found its way together into this beautiful chain stitch, uh, surging stitch, so we're good to go. Let me know what other tutorials you would like to see uh, that are not available out there. And please do subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any future tutorials on this Baby Lock Acclaim machine.